Today, uh, the, the protest happening in front of the State Department for Bangladesh regarding free and fair election. Do you have any comment on that, what they're doing there? And uh, the situation in Bangladesh is really, really bad now, but they're uh, asking, uh, demanding for democracy in Bangladesh. So please, uh, what is your... As we have made clear many times, as I have made clear many times for this po podium, we support free and fair elections in Bangladesh. Uh, we've made that clear publicly. We've made that clear uh, in conversations with the ba Bangladeshi government. And that will continue to be our policy. Thank you. Uh, on Bangladesh, Richard Nephew, the U.S. State Department Coordinator for Global Anti-Corruption, just concluded his visit to Bangladesh and met several high-ranking of, high officials. During his visit to Bangladesh, the English daily newspaper Daily Star published a bombshell report revealing that Mohammed Saiful Alam, the owner of the S. Alam Group and, and an affiliate of the current Sheikh Hasina's regime, had laundered over one billion US dollar and established a business empire in the abroad. Statewatch.net and OCCRP have revealed same type of type of reports on massive corruption and money laundering. During Mr. Richard Nephew's meeting with Bangladeshi Foreign Secretary, he indicated that they might consider sanction as a tool against corruption. My question is, does the United States government intend to impose new sanctions, especially on those involved in corruption and money laundering. So uh, as I said in response to a different question earlier about a different country, uh, we never preview sanctions actions before they take place. Generally speaking, sanctions can be a tool to fight corruption. Uh, we have other tools as well, such as freezing assets and giving partner nations information so they can prosecute cases. And we encourage Bank Bangladesh to root out corrupt actors operating with its, within its borders fairly and impartially.